Hi, Tim Unger here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Alacrity on a Chromebook. So at the time of this recording, uh, if you turn on your Linux container on your Chromebook, you will be installing Debian 11, Debian Bullseye Linux. Okay, so you want to get the .deb file for Bullseye. Luckily for you, I'm including a link to it in the description, and here's the page on GitHub. So I'm just going to download this .deb file. And I'm going to click Show in Folder. And I'm going to click Install with Linux. Click Install, then OK. And it's going to go ahead, going to go ahead and install that. I can close this out. And now I can launch it. And the first time you launch it, it may take a moment or two, especially uh, I'm on a, a machine and I'm recording. So, OK, uh, it'll be pretty quick. So anyways, this is how it looks when it launches up. And I can put it to full screen like this. I can increase the font with Control Plus. I can put it back to normal with Control Zero. And I can decrease the font with Control Minus. And again, put it back to zero. Uh, put it back to normal with Control Zero, or the default, rather. So this is how it looks normally, but maybe I want to get uh, a cool theme. Well, I can do that by installing a couple packages. First one is Node, and then I have to install a Node package. To install Node, I'm going to run this curl command, which is curl dash sl https colon slash slash deb dot node source dot com slash setup underscore 17 dot x uh, a pipe here and then sudo dash e in capital e uh, bash and then a dash okay i'm going to run that okay and then i can either install it just installing node or i can install it node with yarn the yarn is a package manager i'm going to go with the yarn option uh, simply because I'll use that um, potentially with COC for NeoVim. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to highlight this to install my Yarn package manager. Now, when I install this, this will also install Node and uh, NPM. I'm going to do Control Shift C and then Control Shift V to paste. Hit Enter, and it's going to go and install that stuff. And I need to get that out of the way. Um, and it's going to ask, do I want to take the space? I'm going to just do Y and then enter for yes. OK. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to walk you through a few of the potential little issues you may run into or that I ran into when I was doing this. OK. All right. So now uh, Node is installed. I'm going to clear this out. And I'm going to run a command uh, to install the Alacrity themes globally, which is sudo, and then npm, i for install, dash g for global, and then just Alacrity dash themes. And it's going to go ahead and install that package globally. And then I'm going to run Alacrity dash themes, and it's going to give me an error, but then tell me how to fix it. So. Okay, the error is that we haven't created a config, a .yaml file for the Alacrity themes yet, but we can fix this. And if you look, it says just run Alacrity dash themes space dash dash create. So that's what I'm going to do. Alacrity dash themes dash dash create. Okay. All right. Then it gives me the message that the YAML config file was created. Uh, and so it's successfully created. So now we can run Alacrity at themes, but they might not kick in just yet. So we do Alacrity dash themes. Okay. And there may be a couple issues. Now you may get an error with this. If you do shut down Linux and run the, uh, this command Alacrity dash themes dash dash create again, I had to do that once, um, but I'm going to go down and scroll down and select IU dark. And it says it was uh, applied successfully, but I don't really see a change. So let's let's take a look at Vim and see if the highlighting is any different. Maybe. Uh, what I'm going to do is Control D to actually I'm going to quit out of Vim. Then do Control D to exit out of Alacrity. I can find my Alacrity app. Sometimes it's here, or if you don't have it there, you can go down, and it's usually within the Linux apps. Oh, let me move this out of 
Sorry about that. And it's not in the Linux apps, but I thought I saw it. Oh, they, it's right here. So let me just go and run Alacrity, or you could search for it as well. And if we um, enlarge this, well, we see, oh, wow, the colors did change. So I think the IU theme has been applied, but let's make it more pronounced. Let's run Alacrity dash themes again. And now we see, oh yeah, now it's really changing. So once we restart it, it's really changing now. And we can just run Alacrity themes to change it whenever we want. And let's go and go and change it to Cobalt 2. Okay, so Cobalt 2 has been applied. Now if we turn on Vim, you see Vim is in its default theme is picking up the terminal theme of Cobalt 2. So we've got that nice uh, color scheme. We can quit out if we want to change it to a different uh, color. We can run Alacrity themes again and go down through here. I'm just using that arrow key to navigate uh, through this. And let's go to, there's a bunch, there's a bunch of dark and light themes. Let's go to Dracula, okay? So we're gonna do Dracula. And now if we go to Vim, we can see that purple that comes along with Dracula. So anyways, that was how to install Alacrity and change the look of Alacrity to uh, meet your personal taste. Alacrity is a great terminal emulator. It runs really fast. Uh, it is perhaps the fastest one out there. Um, depends on who you ask, I guess. But uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. I'll leave a link to my 90s style blog experiment in the description below, as well as uh, some social links uh, in case you want to follow me there. I hope to see you in the next video, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.